I'm Dave Legvold of Northfield, Minnesota, a corn, soybean, and some small grain farmer. Uh, over the years of my farming career, which have been 35 years of learning and experimentation, and in some cases disappointment, uh, I have learned that um, efficiency and placement of my nutrient is one of the primary uh, things that I can do for environmental benefit as well as economic benefit. In the past, on a field like this, I would uh, broadcast apply anhydrous ammonia or a nitrogen source as well as phosphorus and potassium. And I hope that that was good enough. Now, with the transition to strip till, with the strip till machine, I am able to lay my nutrients right in the rows where my crop will be growing. Uh, as far as the amount of fertilizer, it's very interesting that as soil quality builds and as nutrient cycling becomes a part of the biological system in the soil, I've been able to cut back my fertilizer use by approximately a third. I'm hoping to go to a half and maybe even farther. But the main thing that drives that decision is yield performance as well as fertilizer efficiency. So the, the bottom line of all this is I don't want to spend any more money on fertilizer than I really have to and yet I also want to be economically profitable in growing corn and soybeans effectively. Uh, a side benefit and also very important for the future is the idea of soil quality. And as we examine the amount of uh, residue on the top of the soil, the soil is well covered throughout the, uh, the off season. Eventually, I hope to transition into some kind of cover crop uh, regime and uh, bring that in as an extra source of nitrogen and soil quality. Over the years, in uh, examining yields, I've been uh, able to benefit from research that was done by St. Olaf College students, the Minnesota Department of Agriculture people, and we have found that um, the uh, research is what is now driving my fertilizer and tillage decisions. Uh, research has proven to me that we have to have good data. Um, data from on the farm is really what drives my thinking and gives me comfort in knowing that yes I can prove to people that I'm not over applying fertilizer and my checkbook says that I'm not under applying and losing yield. So the data drives um, many of the decision making processes that uh, I think a farmer has to have. In the past it was you know the corn looks good, it looks green, the windshield survey says, yep, that'll be a good yield. But now I think we're moving into more sophisticated territory. We have to have numbers that fit each farmer's operation specifically so that that farmer knows that they're operating at peak efficiency.